we are in Wave Rock and we are going to somewhere where it says it's called Hippo's Yawn. Maybe we get to see a hippo in our way. Wave rock is up this way. What does it mean by wave rock? Do you think it means that, like the ocean? Hmm. Let's see. really quiet out here and I feel like I have to be really quiet. Even Doc is like walking really nicely beside me. He's behaving himself. I think he knows because he's got to be quiet. You can hear the sound of the wind going through the pine trees. I love that. That actually reminds me of a childhood memory of camping. The kids would actually, if you have small children, if you have big children like me, I'm sure they'll all enjoy it. The tracks are really well done. They're quite hard. I definitely wear some decent shoes though, because it's a little bit rocky. But I think the, the little kids would love it. Could you imagine when it was raining and the formation that you would get on this rock? And the colours and the, as the water streamed down. That would be so amazing to see that. A tulip or something. They're just everywhere over there. Look at the formation of the rock, how it like comes down and then goes flat. Like Mother Nature knew that we were going to be coming through here and we would need a walking track. I'm done. Mother Nature. Are just everywhere. So we are now sitting on the top of Wave Rock, and the main wave is 
that direction. And the hippo's tongue is that direction. And honestly, it's about a 1.5 kilometer walk, so anyone can do it. Right, Tong? We did it, so can you. But look how pretty that all is. And then over there, just there, there's like a lake. And in the distance, there's another huge hill over there. How cool is that? Some of these beauties that you would probably never stop and see. And like this would have been millions of years old. So that blows my mind, millions of years old. I think it's time for us to go back to Hippo's Lip, jump in the car, go to the next destination. Cool, I have this cool ramp here. Oh, well, Tonka has a bit of a problem. <laughs> so this is actually an Aboriginal site and it actually goes through of a story of a Molka, um, a, per, a Aboriginal person named Molka. He was an illegitimate son of a woman who fell in love with the man to whom marriage was forbidden. As a result, Malika was born with crossed eyes. Even though he grew up to be an outstandingly strong man, of colossal height, his eyes prevented him from aiming a spear correctly and becoming a successful hunter. Out of frustration, Malika turned to catching and eating human children and became the terror of the district. He lived in this cave. It's actually um, a bit spooky. This is a seriously cool cave. And I can't really see. So I might have to turn the camera off for a sec so I can flick on the torch. I actually don't even want to climb there. I'm knowing that kind of history. Makes me feel a little uneasy going inside. A little bit sick. So I'm gonna go back to my car and um, actually, I want to find out if they killed him. Aboriginal people were outraged by Mullica's behaviour, and they set out to track him down. They finally caught him near Dumbleyung, 156 kilometres southwest of Hyden. Because he did not deserve a proper ritual burial, they left his body for the ants. A grim warning to those who break the law. Mm-hmm. Well, if that's true, this is kind of a sad place. And a baby. So I'm out here on my own and that just made me feel really uncomfortable and really quite sad. I couldn't imagine being a parent and knowing something like that happened to your child and having to go through life like that. That just tears out my heart. So we are off to another location. We need to find somewhere to sleep the night. Someone's getting 